In this video, you will learn how to make an electrical conduit, mounted on a wall or embedded. Installing an electrical conduit makes it possible to supply an electrical circuit or appliance. Choosing the right housing and tubing in function of the environment will protect people, goods and electrical cables. For your safety, remember to wear safety goggles and gloves. Before this electrical intervention, please turn off the power for the network concerned. To make an electrical conduit, you will need a circular saw, a screwdriver, a putty knife, a spirit level, a cutter, a pencil, a length of wood, a voltmeter, a humidity detector, some talcum powder, screws, plastic conduit or trunking, a conductor, a flexible sheath hose, and some plaster. This operation is carried out in five steps, which we will detail for you. Step 1. Choose the right sheath and corresponding trough. For a visible residential system, choose a rigid tube or trunking. For an embedded residential system, choose a cable that you will place in a cut groove or between partition walls. Step 2. Prepare the space for the trunking. Mark the shortest possible path to join the two points that need to be connected. Outline the point where the conductors will go. Favour straight lines wherever possible. Step 3. Cut out the trough in the wall. This step is applicable for embedded conduits. Tip. Before drilling into a wall, make sure there is no risk of damaging an embedded water or electrical conduit. To do so, use a voltmeter and a humidity detector. Cut the trough using the grinder. Cut a groove that is wider than the cable diameter. Please note, do not cut a trough into load-bearing walls. When cutting the trough, do not cut deeper than 30% of the wall's thickness or you will weaken the wall. Measure the sheath. Cut the sheath to the necessary length. Prepare the walls for the casing for any embedded switches and outlets. Place the conductor in the sheath. Tip. Use talcum powder to facilitate sliding the cables through the sheath. Please note, to avoid crushing or overheating conductors, leave some extra space in the sheath. Then put the ensemble into the trough. Slide the sheath into the holes for the casing until the sheath appears. Fill in the trough with plaster so it is flush with the wall. Tip. You can reuse pieces of the wall you cut out to fill in the trough and replaster. Let the plaster dry for two days. Step 4. Attaching the electrical trunking. This step only applies to conduits that are mounted on walls. Open the trunking. Place it against the wall. Note the site for the attachments. Attach the trunking using screws. The connections between trunkings are at 45 degree angles where the angles change. Insert the conductor into the trunking. Close the cover of the trunking. Step 5. Connect any outlets or switches. Before turning on the power, connect any outlets or switches. To do so, Please watch the video, How to Connect a Switch, or How to Connect an Outlet. You now know how to make an electrical conduit, 